everybody, this is Nia Feiler. I'm here with a weekly astrological message for the 8th until the 14th of July 2020. But even before we start, I want to address something that is happening in the astrological world at the moment. One of the world's most famous astrologers, a person that is solely in charge of spreading astrology to many 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 people around the world in the last decade has been accused of sexual misconduct with his students now I don't want to go in to whether um, um, whatever happened there okay and I know that this particular teacher has apologized I, I read his Facebook post taking responsibility saying that any sexual relationship with any student is one too many and I totally agree and I want to share something about 20 years ago when I was in my early 20s there was a conference in Israel and um, the key speaker in that conference was a very famous astrologer, 33 years my elder, named Alan Oaken. Alan Oaken um, came to speak in Israel, and since I was a young boy at the time, and kind of broke, I volunteered so I could be at that conference, and I did the registrations, and one of my roles was making sure that Mr. Oaken is fine and we hit it off we had long conversation I was very honored that this internationally acclaimed teacher spiritual teacher is is showing interest in me never did I thought that, that interest was sexual in any way after the conference he um, told me that he had two more days to stay in Jerusalem and he would love to see the holy sites and he wouldn't want to do it alone if I could come and show him uh, on one of these days the sites and I said sure I'd be honored so I went over to Jerusalem and I did the whole shebang tour for him Via Della Rosa, Wailing Wall, whatever Holy Sepulcher and at the end of the day I walked him back to his hotel and then he said I have an astrology school in Bali and I really think you should be coming to study there and I can give you a scholarship why don't you come up to my room and take the brochures which I did Five minutes later, he was on top of me in bed. I didn't stop him. I didn't stop him. I was so as astonished that this guy jumped over me and started doing things to me. I didn't know how to react. And a few hours later, he flew away and I never heard from the guy. And I want to say it clear and loud any teacher especially a spiritual teacher is not allowed to have any sexual conduct whatsoever with his students and I was very glad to read today his famous astrologer which I know for many years saying that himself that any sexual conduct is one too many now of course to every rule there are exceptions there could be times that you could fall in love with a student or she can fall in love with you or you can fall in love with it. both of you could fall in love and, and there you go you live happily ever after you have a long relationship maybe a kid or two these are the exceptions to the rule but if this becomes a tendency if this become a pa it becomes a pattern if you're utilizing your astrology and the fact that you're going to different places around the world to meet new people that's that's something different I want to say that Alan Oaken and, and that thing, you know, broke me. I wrote that to Alan Oaken a few months later and all he had to say was the same thing, that I'm old enough to make my own choice and uh, I should leave him alone. <laughs> and I remember how be bewildered and astonished I was that the spiritual teacher came on to me. I wasn't ready for that and I couldn't stop it or I, I didn't know how to and and I forgot what I had to say else 
But yeah, you know, I, I remember he gave me a reading through his phone an hour before he groped me, saying that my son, it was the worst astrological reading I ever had, saying that my son was isolated and poor me, that I won't be able to manifest anything in my life. How professional or wise is it to say to someone coming from a, posi a position of power and authority looking at their chart their astrological chart and saying something so wrong so immoral and so detrimental to someone for years i had to carry around this cloud that everything i'm going to do is going to end up in failure because of mr alan oaken so here i am feeling strong enough to expose this in my video and I'm sure that other people have experienced this, other boys in this case, experienced this from Mr. Oaken, and I'm inviting them to step forward. And let's go down for the week. Let's see what the week is uh, planning for us. Tomorrow, Wednesday, the 8th, Mercury, Square Mars, heated talks, heated arguments. Um, be careful not to state things that you wouldn't want to, uh, that you would regret later. Um, make sure you utilize your words wisely and that they're not too harsh um, Thursday Thursday the 9th good day sensitive with relationships still sensitive with communication um, but other than that it could be a good day to innovate and bring in new things and actually work on wounded relationships Venus is sextiling Chiron in retrograde and all the relationships and self-value as well. Venus talks about the satisfaction I get from my own self-value and from the value I get from the relate with the relationship from the relationship with others. So um, this is a good time to actually kindle that flame and nurture it and provide some sustenance both for yourself and for your relationships. Um, Chiron is going to start conjuncting Mars. We're going to feel it already from the 10th to the 11th. It's going to be exact on the 14th. This is a time we could be our own worst enemies. This is a time that we could be flogging ourselves unnecessarily. This is a time that our male, masculine side could feel more wounded than usual this is a time for the healing of the masculine for the transformation of the masculine for the upgrade of the masculine the clearing the temperance the um, clarifying the, the the purifying of the masculine Chiron the great purifier one leg in Virgo one leg in Scorpio highly introspective, highly transformative. Clean out all these behaviors that were part of the past but are no longer part of the future. And remember girls, part of you is masculine as well. You're not exempt from what I just said. <laughs> Mercury is going to start moving forward again. What a relief on Sidon Day the 12th. <coughs> Excuse me. Sunday the 12th is also an exact trine between Neptune and the Sun. It's a highly imaginative time, a highly romantic time, a time that we could be a little bit too idealizing things or seeing things too rose-colored or being too passive. But if we utilize this time for creation, for um, spirituality, for art, for unifying, this is a wonderful, wonderful opportunity. To do so and again this is something that is felt throughout the week Monday the 13th hard day hard day don't be too stubborn don't be uh, please walk out of your way and and curve those uh, sharp edges and don't be too judgmental or obsessive the 14th Jupiter is opposing the Sun 
the day later it's going to be Pluto opposing the Sun and Mars is conjunct Chiron so all this huge transformative energy opposes our Sun it's also our creative efforts the light that shines off us in this world our love and belief in life itself both on a personal level and on a collective level and these things are going to go through transformations enlightenment through darkness salvation through turbulation enlightenment through shadow work So get ready for these times. And when they come, please remember to be kind and loving to yourself and others. So if you want to study astrology, still in the same discounted rates, 40% off or have a reading, contact me. Thank you for listening. May we all be healthy, stay strong, live long and prosper. Bye-bye.